Hey guys and welcome to the Brick Box and another Lego Lord of the Rings review. Uh, absolutely loving these Lord of the Rings sets guys. Uh, every single one has been an absolute pleasure to build and the minifigures are some of the best I've ever seen. But anyway, on to the set we are reviewing today. And it is set 9473 and it is the Mines of Moria pretty awesome set there as you can see now this has an age range of 9 to 14 years in age and the piece count is 776 pieces so quite a high piece count there and that is reflected in the price uh, the prices are for the UK 69 pounds and 99 pence for you guys in America it will cost you 79 dollars and 99 cents and in Europe 79 euros and 99 cents and for you guys in australia 119 dollars and 99 cents now this set does come complete with seven minifigures even though if you do go do go on the lego website it will say six minifigures that's because they don't class the troll or the cave troll as a minifigure anyway the minifigures you do get are pippin Boromir, Gimli, Legolas and you do get two Moria Orcs and the joint Cave Troll. So seven minifigures in total as I've included the Cave Troll. And you do get a couple of Skeleton minifigures as well but I will not include those in the minifigure total. Now this set does have features such as a well, the wall and gate, uh, a hidden treasure chest, opening doors falling wall elements and a tomb as well and now this set does come complete with a brick separator and quite a few stickers as you can see there from this rather big sticker sheet there are roughly 20 to 25 stickers on that sticker sheet so I've not counted them we get two instruction manuals and the picture on the front does depict the part of the set that the manual is used for to construct and you also get a bag of weapons as well we have a bow and arrow some daggers axe a club in there a scythe so we do get quite a few extra random weapons to just strewn across the floor in front of the set or they will come in handy of course as brick arms for other little projects you may have going or just useful for display with your minifigures. Let's take a quick look at the box. A great action scene there on the front of the packaging and as usual the minifigures displayed across the bottom with the awesome uh, cave troll there. Absolutely loving that figure. Definitely one of my favourites uh, of recent times. And on the back we have some pretty awesome pictures as well. And I just love this picture at the bottom with the cave troll. It's, uh, uh, that is a great picture. On to the main set and we will start with the smaller parts of the set. And we'll start with the tomb that you can see there. We do get this book which is a normal book that you've probably seen maybe in the Harry Potter sets etc. And it does that open. And we do get a sticker application to either side of that book which is a little unusual. And on the top of the tomb we have two sticker applications there and that is the underside of the tomb lid. Quite a nice construction. And inside there we have a skeleton. And what's different about these skeletons is the arms are very dangly, they flop all about the place. Not like the skeletons you are used to. And that skeleton will sit in there and there is a lever at the side to pop the skeleton out and he will take a leap like that doesn't always work very well when you have the tomb lid on but I think you need to use a bit of force on the lever to get the tomb lid to lift up like that so not a foolproof design there but it does still work all the same and there inside the tomb which is quite basic really just the lever on the side and uh, not much at all going on around the side of the tomb there and next it is the well and you will remember this very well from the films where Pippin 
leaned against the well and the skeleton and the chain and bucket go crashing down the well and then all the orcs are informed of their presence and that's when all the action scenes begin but this is a great little construction we do have some sticker applications there to the top and then this part will fall out and you can see the skeleton does come with the bucket and the chain which is all attached to the skeleton and then you pull the lever and they will fall down inside to then uh, reenact that well loved and known scene from the movie and I will just pull the skeleton out of there so as we can see this, this skeleton does have those dangly arms as well and there you can see the chain makeup with the bucket and we do get this gold crystal attached to the front not much inside the well at all no more sticker applications around the well so again yeah a basic but very effective design and here is the door section of the set and what I absolutely love it might not seem a lot to most people but I absolutely love this axe because we have this copper effect finish to the axe head and I've not seen that before so really big thumbs up for that I do love that and that will just sit in the door latch section there to secure the door from the oncoming orcs and the cave troll but we will take that out of there you can see we have a burning torch there just to the right and room for another torch should you wish to place one there and on the front of the door sections we have lots of sticker applications to give it that wood effect and then some dwarvish writing to the top of the door section there and of course these doors will open and they do feel quite nice as well nice and sturdy with all these extra tile pieces to build them up they do feel very nice indeed and then round to the side we have some sticker applications there and this little lever part will flip up and push that part of the wall off so you can knock that off with the cave troll if you wish as it is only secured by two studs at the side and will go back on very easily and at the back we have the spear attached to one of the hooks and again a free section for another weapon so we could always put the axe inside of there just for an example and then off to the side we have another sticker application there lots and lots of sticker applications to this set but still it looks fantastic and another sticker application just inside there just a very small one to finish it off onto the largest part of the set and it is the wall and there are lots of features on this we do get a skull's head there and a bone and a flaming torch and as you can see lots and lots of stickers applied all across this set all these tiles in there as well we have some books with arrows puncturing through the books and we have another book there we have a jewel and a bottle and a barrel with a pickaxe in as well so lots of pieces uh, lots of little bits involved in the set at the front there and again lots more stickers down to the sides as well and at the back of the set we do get this lever and it pushes out this treasure chest and then if I take this treasure chest off you can see inside there we have various gems and precious precious uh, materials let's say except for the ring and going around the set we can see we have another jewel to the side there and at the back not much going on as well but you can see the interactive lever systems and we get these two at the side and this is the one that you push forward to push the chest out now these black ones if you activate those push them down these pillars will fall down and again it's just secured by a couple of studs and again the same this side if you push down the pillar will easily fall off there so a great little play feature to that set as well so on to the minifigures or not so minifigures to start with as it is the giant cave troll and I absolutely love this guys I can't tell you how much <laughs> I do actually love this it's fantastic 
one of my favourite uh, figures uh, to be released recently, let's put it that way. It looks absolutely fantastic. This face print there is absolutely awesome. Lots of detail, makes him look very mean, just like in the film. And as we go around, we have all this print to the body section and down to the lower section there with all this brown print. And onto the back of the cow shawl, lots and lots of print as well. Comes right down the back with all this definition as well on the back of the troll and down to the just the top of the arms there and of course the arms do move and the wrist sections will move so you can rotate the hand as well and as you can see there it comes with this awesome fierce looking weapon the mallet style weapon and uh, it is used to balance him slightly if you have the weapon like this he will topple over so it is best to put him in that pose as the weapon will counterbalance the figure and keep it stable and it does come with the chain as well which is just connected to the top and hangs free so an awesome figure and next up we have Pippin and this is a really nice cute looking minifigure with the short legs and some really nice print there to the front of the torso with the scarf as you can see they're printed onto that torso section he does come with this small sword as well and this one facial expression with this really nice bushy hair piece clipped onto the head as you go around to the rear you'll see we have this second face printed on the back of that head a very scared looking expression there indeed and we have the small cape in this green colour as well and there to the rear of Pippin with the cape removed you can see we do have some print on the back of the torso as well and next it is Gimli the Dwarf one of my favourite characters from the Lord of the Rings definitely very comical in the films um, this one does actually feature in Helm's Deep as well and it comes with the same weapons as Helm's Deep with the double headed axe there and the single headed small hatchet style axe as well but with the weapons removed we can see the minifigure a lot more clearly and this great beard that is uh, attached just under the head and the helmet as well with uh, lots of fantastic detail there and the beard does carry on right round the figure and the hair coming down in this ponytail section and there you can see we have detailing to the rear of the torso and now with the helmet and the beard pieces removed we can see all the detail to the front of the torso so lots of detail to this minifigure it goes right the way down to the torso beneath the beard etc and we do have that face printed there as you can see to that head and we do have a second print on the head as well a little more fierce look there and we do have the detail printed to the rear of the torso as well so a very nice and highly detailed minifigure and next up is Lego Lass and this is an awesome minifigure again very very nice this one and is it just a coincidence that the first part of his name is Lego mm. so cool name as well as well as being an awesome figure and there you can see all that really striking detail there lots going on on the torso down to the waist and continuing down to the legs as well and of course he comes with his bow and arrow weapon so where would he be without that and he has that face printed to the front of the head as you can see and he comes with this fantastic hair piece very very nice and this blonde hair colour with the ponytail section moulded into it and the ears as well being part of that hair piece all moulded into the one piece and to the rear of this figure we can see we have a second face printed onto the head and more detail to the rear of the torso as well and here we have Boromir this is again another fantastic minifigure I know I keep saying it guys but they are very very nice and it does come with this shield that you can see there and the sword as well for his weapon and with the weaponry removed we can see Boromir in lots more detail and the torso the waist section and the legs again having lots of detail to it so lots going on there 
and as we go around we can see the ginger hair piece that one face expression with the ginger beard as well and the brown cape to the rear and with the hair piece and the cape removed we can see to the rear of this minifigure we have some more detail printed there to the rear of the torso and on the head we have the second face printed there and lastly we have the Moria Orcs we do get two of these and they are identical to each other so we will just be reviewing the one but the one does come with this shield and a very large sword whereas this one comes with this club style weapon or I think it's that ball on the chain weapon and I can't remember the name the exact name of the weapon but please guys if you know the name of the weapon please put in the comments box below what the proper name is now let's have a look at this minifigure we do get this great detail printed to the front of the torso and this very evil scary looking face printed to the head there as we go around you can see we have print on the back as well and this black hair piece and we have the ears printed onto that hair piece as well which is very nice and there with the hair piece removed you can see we have this second face printed onto that head again very scary evil looking that and some uh, printing to the rear of the torso so all very very nice minifigure this so now that we have seen the set in all its stunning glory let's give it a rating and let's start as always with the younger guys so ages 5 to 12 years I will give this a 7 out of 10 for you guys uh, the minifigures are awesome and there are plenty of them there are lots of great play features on this set with opening doors, the treasure chest, the well, the tomb you can play with that as well the uh, falling wall features as well but I don't think it does hold too much play over time. It is good at first, but I, I don't think it will last play-wise. And I think it might become boring after a small amount of time. So on to the teenagers, ages 13 to 19. I will give this an 8 out of 10, as I think the teenagers will benefit from the displayability of this set. It will look awesome on display with your other Lord of the Rings sets and the minifigures are outstanding and great for the teenage collector. On to the adult collectors ages 20 plus I will also give this an 8 out of 10 for the AFOLs as uh, it is very highly collectible and it, it is very displayable as well and the minifigures are as I've already said fantastic so lots of uh, plus points on this set for the older collector. Now onto the brick box build difficulty rating. This will get a 6 out of 10. It is not too difficult but just above an average build as there are a few parts of this set that may test your building abilities. Well that is it for this review guys. In conclusion I will say that this set is fantastic. Uh, all of the Lord of the Rings sets have been awesome so far quite looking forward to the Hobbit sets coming out at the end of the year the, these sets have really got me geared up and, ac and excited to uh, go out and buy them and get those built and review them as well and also get the minifigures into the collection anyway guys thanks for watching this review please stay tuned for more awesome reviews and subscribe please if you haven't already to keep up to date with those reviews but until next time guys, Rick on!